Today, we're talking about printer ink and how you can make sure you're getting the most bang for your buck. I'm Charlie with TechNet, where we empower people to live their best life with technology. On Tech Tips, we give tech advice through videos, just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. For anyone that owns an ink printer, you know that managing ink can be a real pain. So I'm going to go over strategies and considerations which may help you out in the long run. If you're trying to save some money while buying printer ink, keep in mind that there are discount ink sellers out there. Generally, you're going to purchase these online, but they're going to come in at a fraction of the price of the name brand printer ink that you'd be getting at the big box store. Another thing to consider would be an ink subscription service. All of the major printer brands are offering a way that you can pay monthly and then they'll send you ink whenever you need it. This way you don't have to worry about the ink and you save a lot more money than if you were going out to the store and buying it every time. Those plans are going to come in at different price points based on how many pages you estimate you'll be printing off. One thing that I really like is the Epson EcoTank printers. These printers have built-in reservoirs for ink inside the printer. So you're not buying cartridges, you buy bottles of ink and then fill it up manually. These bottles usually stretch a lot further than the ink cartridge is going to, plus it's more environmentally friendly because you don't have these leftover plastic ink cartridges laying around. If you are using an ink cartridge system, one important thing to keep in mind is that the ink will dry out if it's not used regularly. And it'll start drying out the second you open that package. Now if the ink cartridge is inside the printer and being used every now and again, it's a lot less likely to happen, but if you open up the plastic sleeve for an ink cartridge and then leave it laying out, it's going to dry out pretty quickly and become useless. That wraps up our ink discussion today. If you're interested in seeing more tech tip videos, be sure to check back in every Tuesday and Thursday.